Today, we're talking green screen. Now before we go any further, this is going to be a video tutorial on how to key out your green screen in Premiere Pro. If you've not shot your green screen already, check out the video here to find out how to do it best. So let's get your green screen footage into Premiere Pro. Now it's important to mention at this stage that you want to be using your footage in its raw format and ideally shot in log because any color correction at this stage is going to affect your key, introducing unwanted noise and making the process much more difficult. Right, first things first, we want to get the clip into the timeline and let's see what we're working with. As you can see in this shot here, we've got a lot of unwanted footage, such as lights and background that's not on the green screen. Before keying out our background, we want to remove all of this in order to get the best key. So what I'm going to do is mask out all the unwanted footage. To do this, I'm going onto effects controls and dropping down the mask option by clicking on the pen tool. I then scale out my clip so it's easy to see the edges and mask around the green screen. Now be careful not to mask out your subject here. In my example, she's holding a guitar fairly close to the edge of the mask, so it might be worth scrolling through your footage just to make sure she doesn't go past it. Okay, so that looks fine. Next thing we want to do is go into Effects and search for Ultra Key. Drag this onto your clip and then go into Effects Controls. Now this is where the magic happens, but be aware, this is going to be different for every single clip. So you might need to play around with it to get it perfect for you. But this is going to be a rough guide on what to do in order to do that. Under Ultra Key, find Key Color and use the Color Picker tool to select your green on your clip. Now any green here should be fine, but if you have varying tones, you want to choose the most mid-tone green you can find, and that's going to give you the best key. Okay, so as you can see, it's a pretty good key off the bat, but there is a bit of noise in the corners and a green edge around my subject, so I'm going to show you how to clean that up. First, drop down matte generation and adjust the pedestal. The pedestal is one of the most important tools you're going to use here to clean up your image. You may want to zoom in here to make sure it's all being cleaned up. Again, this is going to vary clip by clip, so copying my figures probably isn't going to work, but play around with it, see what works best. Next, drop down matte cleanup and use the choke and soften tools to clean up any chattering on the edges of the subject. This is essentially a green line around the subject where the background spills onto the subject's clothes, but this will clean it up. If this hasn't cleaned it up perfectly, then you can always go back up to the matte generation and use the shadow tool. This will particularly work well on black clothing where green is spilling onto it. So try that. Next, I'm just gonna zoom back out, give it a little scrub through, make sure it plays fine, and it looks fine. Another good way of checking your green screen key is creating a color mat and placing it behind your subject to see if there's any imperfections. Okay, I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna delete it and set my in and out points for export. The reason I want to export this is not only so it plays back smoothly in my timeline, is that when I export it, I'll be able to place it in my timeline and color grade it exactly how I want without affecting the Ultra Key. Now to do this, the export settings are important, and you have to use the format of QuickTime in order to do so. If you don't have QuickTime in your format list, all you need to do is go online and download the code. Next, we want to scroll down to Video Codec, make sure that is on Animation. Check your frame rates the same as your clip and scroll down to depth. We want to change this to the plus alpha option. What this is going to do is create a transparent video for us, perfect for dropping into our timeline. So there we have it guys. That's how to create the perfect key for your green screen in Premiere Pro. Obviously this is really only a brief introduction. There's a lot more you can do if your footage is not looking as good as ours did, but this is the essentials and hopefully all you need to do. Hope you found this video useful. Be sure to like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next one.